What's up everybody, it's Evan and Arcade from Got The Game and I have something very special to show you today. Like I said before, I always show you guys the special stuff and this without a doubt is something very very unique. Uh, I got this through a Kickstarter and if you might have already noticed it says Hotline Miami Jacket Figure. Um, it's very cool. It was kickstarted last year by a uh, independent toy designer, ESC Toys, uh, otherwise known as Eric Scarecrow, who produces very cool vinyl figurines and stuff. You should check out his website. He's got a lot of great stuff, does a lot of cool pins and just a ton of neat stuff. But he teamed up with Jonathan Games, who you might know that produced Hotline Miami with Developer Digital as a publisher. And you know, they made this very cool 12 inch um, figure of him. Yeah, this is 12 inches, like this classic or standard figures you might have known from back in the day when you used to play with Star Wars figures or even the Mega Dolls. Mega Dolls weren't that big. But uh, yeah, see, I'm, I'm, I'm giving away my age by how, how old those toys are. But this is very cool. So we're gonna do an, un an unboxing, an unopening. What is that? It's like the opposite, right? Uh, an unboxing of this very cool figure that was uh, kickstarted last year, like I said, and finally came in today. Um, we also got a couple of other items with this. We'll show those off in a few minutes, but let's let's open them up. Let's see what's inside. All right, first, let me just check out the box. We can see here it says jacket. I'm gonna move it back down here because it's kind of hard to uh, check out right now because the zooming and the autofocus isn't right quite working well. Got some of the box, uh, the not actually not the box art, but this is the typical art you saw when you downloaded the game. Same thing here in the back. It's a very nice, solid, constructed cardboard box. Comes with the Richard mask, Aubrey mask, Tony mask, bandage jacket, head, katana, a bat, a shotgun, letterman outfit, hospital trauma outfit, and more. And, and actually that is a typo right there. Out ift. So anyways, let's open this up. It looks pretty sweet. I think I can just pull them out. No problem. Bam. Looks really neat. Got the Aubrey mask on right now. Pretty loose. But that's okay. Of course, the Letterman jacket. Nicely constructed. See the buttons on there. Just little snaps. Little jacket on his little white t-shirt. Denim jeans. Little kicks. Now this was the actual standard um, figure. I think he retailed around fifty-five or sixty dollars, sixty-five dollars. But they also made special variants of him. Uh, one was like a, a midnight marauder one. It seemed looked very cool. Kind of like the palette was more like '80s neon. I mean, it, it wasn't what he would look like in the game, but it was still very cool. How detailed that is. Pretty sweet. I love the Aubrey mask. You guys take it out like that. Pretty loose. Moves around. Let's do that to me. Let's get the kids. So he comes with, it's like a tiered plastic package. Let me remove this from. And as you can see, he also comes with a variety of extra hands to hold the weapons. He also comes with a cell phone. You know, 80s style cell phone so you can make those calls, pick up those calls. Not quite sure what this is. I'll have to figure it out in a few minutes. Like I said, I just opened this right now for you guys. So we'll figure this out, but it looks like it has like a little slip right there. We'll see. Here's all the cool extra stuff. The Tony the Tiger mask. This looks great. It's very nice and detailed. One of my favorite masks as well. Only use fists, right? It's actually very, used very prominently in wrong number. Hotline Miami number two. The jacket, normal uh, trauma mask, or face head. If you remember when you played the game, there was a part where you actually wake up in the hospital after getting the, well, I don't remember if you got shot or just beat the hell up. Beat the hell up. It was pretty nasty. It was pretty fun how you had to sneak out of there. But it's actually a really good head. Let me get closer, yeah. Very detailed, as, all, as, as the other ones are. Of course, we also have the trauma outfit that he puts on. This is this would go well with the uh, the trauma head that he has there when he's sneaking out of the hospital. Keep this in the back for now. Um, this would be just so you can you can hold him in place. You know, wraps around his waist. 
assuming this goes like this, right? And then you stick the wire thingy. I'm not gonna fit it in all the way in, but that's Katana Blade. Probably one of my favorite melee weapons to use in the game. A shotgun. Another standard but cool gun to use. Big old bat. Smashed him up. With some blood splatter on there. Very nice. See that wood grain? But this is the first box number, I think, when he gets the message or whatever. He gets a package and this is what he gets, right? He gets the Richard mask. Bam. Pretty sweet. Oof. Of course, he comes with a letter that tells him what he's got to do. That's in here. Very cool. Very authentic. I think I dropped the other little sticker that was in here. Or whatever it is. I think it's a photograph. That close. The army guys. But yeah, this uh, Richard mask is very detailed. Looks awesome. I said like that, like it's awesome, man. But no, really, the, the, the sculpt, I think that's, this is probably my favorite mask so far. It was part of this. It looks fantastic. Great job. Let's put this on my jacket right now. As much as I like Aubrey's. Mask. I'm gonna take that one out. Stick it in Richard's. Richard? That's awesome. Like they said, he comes with a, a ton of, like, um, how do you say it? Uh, points of articulation. There you go. Yeah, let's see. Whoa. Kick, punch. It's all in the mind. Yeah, so like I said, I backed this last year through a Kickstarter project. I pledged, I don't know how much, but for getting the figure and a couple other things, you also got these extras. Well, actually, this was part of the pledge, but I want to show you what I got as part of it. You got this very cool collector pin set from ESC Toys, and of course, it's the famous mask, of course, Aubrey, Tony, and Richard. Um, they also made variants of these to match the other uh, limited variants of the figure as well. But I'm, I, I like the standard ones as they are. Can't wait to add these to my jacket. As you, as you might have already seen on Instagram, I have a lot of pins. And yeah, it's going to look awesome. To, put this aside. To, go, to go with that, they also threw in this very cool lanyard. Hot Miami. There you go. So you can see, let's see more of the, the game art on there as well. Some clips. So you can basically clip them, or I mean, I'd basically add the pins to this if you wanted. Before I show you what else is on the, on the table, I'm going to... It also came with a couple of posters and uh, a little postcard of uh, ESC toys. That's uh, the Lady Liberty figurine that they just recently um, put out. Very cool. So we have a biker poster of him, but my favorite one would be this one with jacket in action slugging the hell out of one of those Russian mobsters. And if you might have already noticed on the table, it's, um, this actually came here. These, as an, an add-on, I'm stuttering around, I don't even know how to contain myself. Uh, as an addition, you could, uh, you could have ordered extra add-on heads, or masks, I should say. So this is, see, it's this one, one six scale mask head and weapon set. They only made three extra, and at the time I only had enough to buy one, and it was my favorite mask that I used to use all the time, and that's Rasmus. Get that right there. You guys remember Rasmus sees all the secrets, and when you're playing the game, you wear this mask, you find out where all the little, little hints can build the final password and code to get the final ending. So this is a really cool mask, really nicely detailed. Um, all the other, and he also comes with, like I said, it was a weapon mask, so he comes with, um, this Uzi. It's pretty sweet. The other weapon sets and mask set, uh, was a Don Juan, um, and I forget what he came with. I think he might have came with a hammer. And then Carl, which is the, uh, Don Juan is the horse mask, by the way. And then Carl was the bug or the grasshopper mask, which looks really cool. I want to get that one, too. 
I actually want to get them all, so I'm going to see if I can actually purchase the other one, which I'm sure you'll be able to later on. And Carl came with a drill. We all remember how the drill takedown is. It's pretty nasty, but it's awesome. So yeah, like I said, uh, this is a very unique item. Um, I'm sure he'll probably be released on the website for ESCToys.com. I believe that's the website. Um, I wish I could have gotten the other ones. I'm still hoping I can get the masks, but this is an awesome figure. Uh, Hollow Miami is one of my absolute favorite games. I actually purchased a Vita just to play this game on the go. It'd be great if they made uh, figures of the other guys, especially the uh, the ones uh, the gang of vigilantes from Wrong Number. We all know each one is different, like the twins, uh, Mark, who's a, the big giant bear, uh, Tony again, he fights with like he has a mask that uh, Jack used. And uh, it's pretty fantastic, actually. I mean, like, that game is awesome. So if they made more figures of those, I would gladly go broke getting them all. Um, that's pretty much it for this unboxing of this Hotline Miami Jack 12 or 1 6th scale figure. Just stay tuned more on Instagram. You can see some close up pictures of the figure. And as always, check out the website, which is www.igottogame.com. You can also follow me and tweet at me on Twitter, which is you got the game. As always, I'm Evan Arcade from Got the Game, and you know what to do. Keep playing.